Hey, you beauties, do you want to win yourselves a free Add a Zero NHL jersey? Huh? Well, you can. All you got to do is click that like and subscribe button, and you'll be entered into the 10K giveaway, giving away another Adidas NHL jersey at 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you're clicking that like and subscribe button. How's it going, you beauties? It's Producer Guy Phil, and we are back with some more NHL 18 content. As always, please be sure to crush that like and subscribe button. We're on the road to 10K, where one of you lucky beauties is going to win a free Adidas NHL Add a Zero jersey at 10K. It's really awesome. And I got to give a huge, huge shout out to Mr. Adi James, who did that little uh, intro there for us. That was really awesome. His impression of me is like spot on. It is literally scary how well he can imitate me, and I was very impressed from the second I heard it, so I'm like, hey man, can you do like a little intro blur for me? He's like, you know what, Phil, for you, no problem. No problem at all. And he did that, and I was really, really like stoked to hear that. So thank you very much, Audie. I'm forever in your debt for that. But today, yes, we are going to see if YouTube's team can win the Stanley Cup. I left it all up to you. All I did was say name players, and I'll randomly pick comments, and I did randomly pick comments, and I forgot to change the logo again. I really got to remember to do that. It's like eight times. I need to track it for how many times I forget to change the logo. Um, but I forgot to change the logo, and holy jump in the team you guys built. After even just picking random, the list of players, I think we had over 200 suggestions. And unfortunately, I was only allowed to like randomly pick 20. And I will put all 20 up on the screen right here. Bing! There you go. Yeah, it's going to be a couple screens here, I can only fit so much on the screen. But look at all those freaking names right there. The team is basically disgusting. Once you see the lines, you'll be like, oh my goodness, yeah, if we don't win the cup, this will be a massive, massive disappointment. And I will personally be a little, I'll be a little sad if we don't win the cup, just in all honesty. Especially with the way this team is built. Yeah, we better be winning like 18,000 Stanley Cups. Like, look at this. 100 offense, 89 defense, 96 goaltending. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to draw a lot of defense, but... You know what, I feel like this top, uh, I feel like the offense makes up for it. So first line, Ovi, McDavid, Pasternak. Disgusting. Next line, Kopitar, Matthews, Besser. Filthy. Shifley, McKinnon, Taves. Disgusting. Ooh, we got like an agitator line down here. Hey, I, I always do best lines, but this is a little funny. You got uh, Matthew Kachuk, Nazem Kadri, and Ryan Reeves. And on defense, we have Ghost and Mike Green. So we actually have defensemen. And then we got Miku Koivu and Matthew Barzell. Interesting, interesting. And then Yanni Gord and Jonas Donskoy as our bottom uh, bottom two defensemen. Then we got Sergei Bobrovsky and Braden Holtby to round out the team. Oh my goodness. So we better like score a lot of goals because uh, you know like we only have two actual defensemen who can keep the puck out of the net. So we better be potting in a lot of goals. And there we go. Two five one wins back to back. Wow. I'm excited, but you know what I want to do? I want to talk about today. <clears throat> I want to talk about. I really am upset. Uh, I talked about this earlier that the play on ball hockey game is canceled, but I am 95% sure now I'm going to be renting uh, a little like facility up near me in Toronto, Ontario. Um, I know it has like a ball hockey ring, comes with nets, and I was wondering if I set this up. Maybe we can do like a mini tournament, have four teams or something, maybe like six players, do like a three on three or do like a four and four, depending on how many people come out. We have like a mini tournament. I'll go grab a trophy, uh, things like that. We can even film it, maybe uh, hit up some friends who have some GoPros. I can edit it, put it all together. And I think this would be really darn awesome. So let me know if you guys would be down for that because I want to do this in the summer. So this will be going down in the summer. So hopefully, you know, I can uh, make a couple phone calls here. And uh, we can get something done. We can get something going, you know. And maybe we just uh, we have a good old time just playing some ball hockey, you know. I think it'd be pretty darn awesome. I think that would be really freaking cool. So let me know how you guys feel about that and if you'd be interested. So it would have to happen up here in the Toronto area as that's where I am from. That's where I, uh, you know, live. It's easy for me to rent everything up here. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. And we will uh, maybe get that started, you know. Maybe get that started. Also... If you're hearing this, I will be in Buffalo tomorrow for the Leaf Sabres game in Buffalo. So like I said, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at Arcade Regiment. Maybe we'll meet up during an intermission, you know. Maybe we'll come say hello, come say hi. You know, I'm down for either or. I am down for either or. And I'm very excited because I can officially announce this uh, next year, preferably um, around the February-March time. I will be venturing to Tampa Bay, yes, to catch a lightning game, uh, go see uh, Universal Studios, things like that. So if you're in the Florida area, hey, hit me up, let me know, 
Maybe we'll meet up there, you know, hit up a good lightning game because tickets in the States are like cheap for some reason. In some markets, they're very cheap. I look at Tampa tickets and I'm like, this is disgustingly cheap. Like, I only have to really worry about my flight and hotel and like, that's basically it. I don't really have to worry about too much of, well, anything. So there you go. If you're in the Tampa region, let me know. Maybe we'll have like a meetup uh, down there. We'll uh, hang out. Maybe I'll get a group rate and go to a hockey game. So let me know. But look at the team so far. 51, 15, and 0. Oh, uh, wow. Which is very odd. I don't think, uh, I think I've actually seen a record like that. Oh, I didn't want to jinx it. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen a record where I haven't had like a shootout like loss or overtime loss or anything. That was, that was pretty odd, actually. But look at that. 16 regulation losses. I don't like how we're losing in regulation. That kind of bites a little bit. That bites a little bit. But let's just wrap up the season. Really, really quick, let's just wrap her on up, put a neat little bow on it there, and we end on two losses. That's okay. You know what, I don't mind ending on two losses. It happens, you know, say la vie, life happens. Mm -mm. All right, let's check the points. McDavid, almost a point per game. He's got 81 and 82. Shifley, 79 and 82. McKinnon, 75 and 82. Ovi, 73 and 82. Pasternak, 65 and 82. Matthews, 54 and 82. All right, let me just go right to the bottom here. Don Skoy, 8 points in 82 games. Let's check goaltending just really, really quick. All right, so Bobrovsky, a 9.35 and a 1.81. And Holtby, a 9.36 and a 1.77. Bob played 64 games. Wow. 64 starts. He didn't get a break at all. Poor guy. Poor guy. And then we're heading right into the playoffs. We're like, hey, Bob, let's go. You're starting. All right, and who are we playing? The St. Louis Blues. The Terra Seng Show. Alex Petrangelo. Carter Hutton, oh my goodness, we got a we got a battle heal. We got a battle here right now, and we sweep it. <laughs> we got a battle, but unfortunately, you know, it's a little bit easy. So I hope we just walk like right into the finals. Just like do 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 walk right into the cup finals, and that would be pretty awesome. It's the LA Kings in the second round. Interesting, let's see what happens. 6-2, 5-2 loss, 3-0 win, 5-2 win. Alright. We just gotta win one more game. All right, it's only one more game. There we go. All right, we win in five there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's move on to the conference finals. Ooh, scandalous against the Edmonton Oilers. Interesting. 5-2 loss, 2-1, 4-3 win, 2-1 win. Okay, can we win in five again? That would be pretty groovy, baby. And we do, ooh, and it's right against the Boston Bruins. Right against those big, bad Bruins. All right, let's go two games at a time. Let's go two games at a time. 2-1 win. All right, 2-1 win. All right, so can we take game three? All right, you know what? Maybe we'll slow sim. Maybe we'll slow sim uh, game four. See if we can take it. All right, let's go. Slow sim. Here we go, baby. All right, goals, times eight simulation. Here we go. Okay, no shots. We get an early power play. And Connor McDavid just buries it on Tuka Rask, like gets his job. That $12.5 million contract for McDavid, he's loving it. And he's going to love it next year. I don't know how much Oilers fans are going to love it when you're paying him 12.5, McDavid 8, and you're paying Lucic, what, like 6? Chris Russell, like 4.5, what, Sakara, like 4? Like, oh boy, just uh, just be a little careful. That's all I got to say, you know, just be a little be a little careful. And as a Leafs fan, I'm worried about that too, man. We got the big 3 to pay, starting with Nylander this summer. Whew. And speaking of the Leafs, Nassim Kadri, just, ooh, look at that angle. Where? <laughs> how did he bury it from there? That is disgusting. We've kept the Bruins to at least 10 shots, but that's apparently all they need because they bury one on Bob Brovsky. But Matthew Barzell getting it right back. Look at him. He's most likely going to win the Calder with Besser out. So, man, Matthew Barzell just uh, potting in goals. 3-1 in Boston going into the third period. Power play for us. Can we capitalize? We do not. But we are less than 10 minutes away from winning the Stanley Cup. But Krejci is apparently not going to let that happen. Uh-oh. 3-2 with 10 minutes left. Anything can happen. Anything can happen right now. So let's see. Can Boston come back? They cannot. And your Stanley Cup champions is the YouTube team. Excellent. Wow. That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty exciting. So can uh, YouTube uh, win the Stanley Cup? They absolutely can. YouTube comments can. Not only can they, they can do it in a sweep too. Like it's no problem. Like it's no problem at all. So I think we handedly finished in first place with the Presidents. So let's just go to the entire league just to see. Oh yeah, Presidents by far destroyed. And let's go down here. All right, 19th place making it to the playoffs. That's interesting. 
It's not as bad as the 22nd Panthers making it. I, I can never get over that. Rangers, Senators, Avalanche, Flames. Wow, interesting. Those are your basement teams. But let's check the awards really quick. So Stanley Cup to us, Presidents to us, Clarence S. Campbell to us, Prince of Wales to the Baston Bruins. All right, Art Ross to Cooch, Hart to Vasilevsky, James Norris to Klingberg, Lady Bing to Sagan, Calder to Heeshire, Khan Smite to Bobrovsky, Vesna to Vasilevsky, Jennings to Bobrovsky. Is that Holtby too? No, it's just Bobrovsky. Okay. Masterton to Gudis, Selke to Bergeron, Ted Lindsay to Vasilevsky, and Maurice Richard to Tarasenko. Interesting. Wow, what a little bit of odd rewards there, or odd awards there. All right, and there is the playoff tree. It was a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals. How many sweeps were there in the entire playoffs? One two three wow four sweeps in the entire playoffs interesting i don't think i've seen that in a long long time in all honesty i don't think i've seen that but you know what that's gonna wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video seriously hope you guys enjoyed this video i am looking forward to tomorrow it's going to be hopefully a good game you know knock on wood fingers crossed i'm producer guy phil i will see you in the next one stay classy